Hello Nicholas, I'm Andy Baudet from Megapixel. This is day four of ISE in Barcelona and we're very happy to show that uh, the Ventana product from Megapixel has won uh, AV Technologies Best in Show for ISC 2025. Um, if so what's your impression of this show? The show has been fantastic. It's uh, very, very well attended. The traffic throughout the whole show floor has been uh, very heavy, let's put it that way. Even on day four, which is usually a light day, it's usually just the manufacturers walking around and talking to each other, but there are plenty of guests here, still a lot of people that are interested in talking about LED technology, state of the art, where it's going, what's happening with both the LED tile world and also the processing world. And Helios uh, and with our partners at uh, all our other LED tile manufacturers um, are loving the Helios process, processor, driving their tiles here at the show. Um, we, Many of them have yes, compatibility or they even use it? Absolutely, they're using it here at the show. We have Sony, we have LG, we have Auto, we have Absin, um, we have Jupiter, we have Unilumin and Rogue. All of these companies are tight, tight partners with Megapixel on the Helios platform. And then of course we also have our own tile, Ventana, which is just a very, very high performance tile for the market, for primarily for fixed installations available in both a gloss and a matte finish at either 1.2 or 0.8 millimeter and a very, very simple uh, interface. We utilize magnets on the back of the tile and pogo pins for the electrical and uh, data connections. And they literally just click together very quickly and easily so nice. that you can build a wall very quickly without a lot of effort. It's a, a revolutionary product. And again, that's why we got Best in Show here at ISC 2025. And they're hot swappable? You can even... Uh... They, they are hot swappable. You can pop, I can pop it off right now and, and then put it back. It takes a few seconds. Not sure if we're gonna be uh, still talking by then, by the time it comes back up and resets itself. But yes, you can go and, and hot swap these tiles and very quickly just clip them back right. in. And in another few, probably about 60 seconds or so, it'll come back It needs on. to boot up, right? It needs to boot up. That's just the process. Um, There's a process uh, in there. Uh, so it might be that uh, maybe it's the AMD RTX or this. There's a chipset in there that runs the whole synchronization. Collaboration. Yes, and um, you also have to remember that everything that we, we utilize is built upon our PX1 card, which is integrated into the tile. It's a, what we call our tile side processor. It uh, allows us to control that LED tile product from the Helios processor. It takes a lot of the heavy lifting off of the processor so that uh, it's being done, things like color calibration and uh, color registration are being handled in the tile itself. So that as you build your wall bigger, you actually add processing power because of the number of PX1 cards as you start to build out your entire solution. So here at the show, you're showing the awesome uh, glossy one at the yes. Hive booth and the matte one at the Crestron booth. Yes. So people can really get to see the, the two different renders, exactly. how good it looks. Exactly. It's, um, it's great to have partners like Hive, AMD, where we are standing right now, and the folks over at Crestron. We're going to be doing a lot more with Crestron at Infocom, as well as a few other shows. Uh, and again, working with all of our partners. So um, this Megapixel and, and this entire industry is about the partnerships that you have and, and working with the good companies that uh, you know you can stand behind and stand with to deliver the best solutions. Would you say that the Megapixel solution is the best in the market? Without a doubt. <laughs> and I've been in this industry a long Very time. I know you have as well. It's extraordinarily high performance. The video quality from uh, the Helios processor is top notch. When you think about where we end up putting this into, whether it's an enterprise level fixed installation, because of our um, infrastructure, where you're taking fiber out from the Helios going up to 10 kilometers to a Netgear switch that is gonna reside behind the wall, um, to the ingest of video on the front end, whether it's ST2110, SDI, HDMI, DisplayPort, we could even do Thunderbolt coming in to bring that uh, video in. It's a native 8K processor, so that'll drive up to 32 million pixels from one Helios processor. And if you have to do a job that's bigger than that, that's okay. You add a second Helios, and when they network together, you just expanded your canvas by another 32 million pixels. And it totally synchronized 
every AK you add, it's just uh, absolutely no, yes. no limits. Correct, no limits to it. We're doing a project right now in Manhattan that just the lobby area is going to utilize 16 8K Helioses to drive the, the number of pixels there. So that's a lot wow. of pixels. You think it's 60 times 8K um, just for the lobby area. And this particular building has multiple Helioses throughout the entire facility. So every pixel on every floor of this new headquarters building for the, this financial institution is being driven by megapixel Helios. It's like entering a new world. It is. Must be. It is. It's going to be so impressive lobby. <laughs> yes. It is, and, and it's an impressive building to begin with. And But they couldn't have done it without Helios with the native ST2110 ingest and then the fiber output, because then you're allowed to put the Helios in a nice controlled environment where it's clean, it's cool, air conditioned, the works, it's right by the servers and the network switches. And then that standard LC fiber, single mode LC fiber going out to the actual LED walls where they could get bumped, they could get uh, damaged or, or heat up, but that's okay because the sensitive electronics are where they need to belong in the nice uh, conditioned environment. I see so much to do with AV over IP at the show. And uh, the, the Helios, the megapixel is fully integrated with all this world of doing Ab stuff of IP? Absolutely, and that's one of the beauties of Helios is that we natively work in those environments. We uh, have been doing ST2110 through SFPs on the back, there are four SFP cages that can either take an SDI input, uh, which would be BMC, or take ST2110, 10 gigs per SFP. And we also introduced a 100 gig QSFP input module about six months ago or so that allows you to bring in not just one, but two full 8K uh, or 32 million pixel canvases so that you can have your um, primary and redundant server and have a automatic failover within Helios. <laughs> and when we add, when, when IPMX is fully uh, developed, we will be adding IPMX support onto this so that you can create your canvas on the server of any size or shape or diameter that you want and send that as one complete package into Helios. You don't have to dice and slice into uh, UHD or HD rasters and send it and then remap it inside Helios. You can just send it uh, as one package, it will really revolutionize the workflow at that point of being able to go from server to uh, LED wall. And the 100 gig is uh, really, sounds it's a, fast. It's a huge pipeline. Yeah, again, it allows us to bring in two complete 32 million pixel 8K rasters, if you want to think of it in those at terms. At high frame rates. At very high frame rates, yes. Everything we do is at a minimum of 10 bit. We build a lot of 12 bit systems, even though there are not a lot of 12 bit delivery packet or delivery sources at this point. Um, but 10 bit is our minimum. We don't even, we don't touch 8 bit. <laughs> We're working at a higher level. Nice. Uh, that's really helped to realize the, the ultimate dream of transporting the people into a new world. It's yes. like uh, glasses-free VR. Correct. A little bit. Correct. And in fact, the imagery is getting so good on LED now that it can replace a lot of other types of uh, display technologies. So um, this next generation of uh, micro LED chip on board, um, again, the, the pixel is so small, uh, but what you can do with it um, allows so much flexibility for the market.